what's good y'all support ross back at again with another video so i want to check out when wwe realizes they made a huge mistake this should be a very interesting one man sometimes uh wwe don't get it right and the fans will let you know if they got it right or not now sometimes vince mcgann and whoever's in creative at the time most likely vince at whatever you know depending on what period we're talking about Vince doesn't usually get. <laughs> he doesn't really give a damn about um, what the fans feel, how things should go. But there's some times where it's just like, come on, man. This this is, you know, obviously this is not the right choice on booking decision or maybe someone winning a feud or winning a match or how someone should be booked or, you know, a character, churn, t uh, character turn. Like, sometimes you just know, like, I don't think this is the time for that. And it just it just snowballs into something awful. So we're gonna check out some of those moments where WWE didn't get it right, you know, by the consensus of the fans. Appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. Let's get right into this one. WWE has given fans memorable title changes, iconic Royal Rumble and WrestleMania matches, and That's countless right. other iconic moments, each with the sole purpose of accomplishing one thing, to send the fans home happy. But yes. what happens when the complete opposite occurs and fans end up going home either disappointed or straight up confused with what they just watched? Today, we look back at five One of, of those the worst. matches oh, that we no. can all agree oh, and no. entirely forgot. Oh, We're going to no. kick off this video with a match that should not have gone down the way that it did. On October 4th, 2019, Dark times. Kofi deserved better. WWE SmackDown premiered on Fox for the first time ever. It was a big night for the WWE as The Rock made a special appearance, Marshmello won the 24-7 title, and there was a ladder match between Kevin Owens Ooh. and Shane McMahon. The main event for the Milestone show saw the beast Brock Lesnar take on WWE Champion Kofi Kingston. And in one of the most surprising moments in WWE oh history, Brock Lesnar hit Kofi with just one F5 one. and ended the six-month reign of Kofi Mania in seven seconds seconds. The match was shorter than Paul Heyman's introduction for Brock Lesnar, and the night ended so fast that Michael Cole didn't even have time to finish mentioning the sponsor for that night's show. Tonight's main event is sponsored by Ghost Recon Breakpoint, available now, and Brock Lesnar quickly with Kofi Fans in attendance and at home were naturally stunned that the WWE decided to end Kofi's historic title reign the way that they did. But before anyone had time to even process what they just witnessed, WWE quickly moved on and had Cain Velasquez make his debut to confront Lesnar. To which, which ultimately didn't even matter. They literally squashed Cody, not Cody, <laughs> Kofi, seven seconds. Rolled him out the ring for Cain Velasquez. And it still didn't matter. And Kofi went back to flipping pancakes and eating cereal. Back in cater. Wasn't even trying to get his rematch. Wasn't Didn't even care that he lost the championship that he had been working so hard to get. I'm okay with Kofi losing. No one really thought he was going to win. But we wanted a good match. And we didn't get that. Build towards their match at Crown Jewel the very next month. And although this match ended on a negative, nothing could prepare any WWE fan for what was about to happen just two days later. Just 48 hours after the controversial match between Kingston and Lesnar, WWE held their Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. I forgot this was relatively quick i forgot this happened right after it this is, was a bad period for just wwe in the sense of the main title scene this was oh, i forgot this happened you that year from the golden one center in sacramento California. that quick too. the main event for the show featured universal champion seth rollins going one-on-one -on -one against the fiend bray wyatt for the universal title inside the hell in a cell controversy would strike once again however when referee rod zapata called for the bell and disqualified rollins after he hit wyatt with a sledgehammer Fans were furious over this decision to end the Hell in a Cell match like this and began to boo and chant. Back, 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 
Despite the match featuring two of WWE's most popular superstars, Recipes this Bray. match specifically has gone down amongst fans as being one of the worst conclusions to a main event in professional wrestling history. The reason? This was a Hell in a Cell match. Yeah. And the rules in a Hell in a Cell match mean that there are no, are no rules, rules. Which means <laughs> that there are no disqualifications. Yet this match ended in a disqualification. Although the WWE Universe were rightfully upset, no one was more angry than Seth Rollins himself who revealed in an interview that he was ready to attack Vince McMahon as soon as he got backstage after the match. Due to this terrible decision, the WWE would probably say attack. Hold on, let me see. I put a positive spin on it now because I can look back on what he said. Rollins continued to say that he was angry with Vince McMahon when he walked to the curtain after the match. They wouldn't speak. Uh, they wouldn't speak that night. However, I put a positive spin on it now because I can look back a year and a half later. But at the time I came to the curtain, I was ready to strangle Vince McMahon. <laughs> I'm I'm not kidding you. TJ Wilson was there to hold me back. I stay. I was. Uh, I was uh, stared right. I stared right into the Vince's eyes. I looked at him. He looked at me. We didn't say a single word to each other. He walked. <laughs> that was stupid. I don't know what Vince was thinking about in the, in this span, of, that short span of time of having Kofi lose like that. And then you have a hell in the cell and it ends in a disqualification. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Due to this terrible decision, the WWE would probably like you to forget that this match ever even happened, just like the next match on our list, the 2014 Royal Rumble. Ooh. On April 4th, 2014, WrestleMania 30 took place from the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. This is where Daniel Bryan would enter the main event as the company's biggest babyface. Fans wanted to see one Ooh. thing and one thing only that night, Daniel Bryan holding up the WWE yes. Championship at some point. WWE finally listened to the fans and gave them exactly what they wanted when Daniel Bryan defeated Batista and Randy Orton and became the WWE World Heavyweight Such Champion a beautiful for the moment. first time. Getting to this moment wasn't so easy if you were a Daniel Bryan fan. No. Because just a couple months prior to this at the 2014 Royal Rumble, fans made it extremely clear who they wanted to see win the Rumble that year, and that man was Daniel Bryan. Mm -hmm. No matter who was in that number 30 spot, yep. if that entrance name wasn't Daniel Bryan, fans were gonna riot regardless. Yeah. It was a nightmare situation for the returning Batista, as he would go on to win the match, but it was an even bigger nightmare for WWE as they learned a valuable lesson the hard way that night, which is sometimes listening to your audience isn't always a bad thing. Unfortunately, Facts. they forgot that lesson entirely and did it all over again during the next match on our list, which is the 2015 yep. Royal Rumble. <laughs> they didn't learn a lesson at all. By the time the 2015 Royal Rumble came around, Daniel Bryan was still easily one of the hottest superstars yep. in the company. And because of this, fans yet again- And here's the thing about that whole situation. That, the 2014, he wasn't even in the Royal Rumble. 2015, fan, you know, he was in the Royal Rumble and fans wanting him to win the Royal Rumble because he had to drop the titles. He couldn't even, like, it was a medical reason why he had to drop the titles. So it was one of those type of things where he didn't really, he didn't lose. So people wanted him to climb that mountain again, win the Royal Rumble like he should have won the previous year, main event WrestleMania potentially again, and get the titles that he never lost. He never got pinned for. Only for that to not happen. <laughs> Again, only wanted to see him win that year's Royal Rumble. Mm -hmm. But just like the Rumble in the previous year, WWE had other plans. Daniel Bryan would enter at number 10, and that triggered one of the biggest pops of the night. But to every fan's dismay, his time in the match wouldn't last very long. After surviving only 10 minutes and 36 seconds, Bray Wyatt would eliminate him from the match. Fans were left stunned that the WWE would actually let this happen again for the second year in a row. So they voiced their displeasure right away yeah. by booing and chanting for him well after he was eliminated i want you to understand he was that over he's gone and they're they don't care about nothing else and then when roman comes out there it, it, oh, it was ggs it was in it was ggs once they knew what they were doing with roman the crowd could they could pick that out easily anyone could oh it was over Daniel Bryan 
got eliminated. But it actually got worse. Mm -hmm. Once Big Show and Kane eliminated Dean Ambrose, and fans realized that the final four men in the match were just Big Show, Kane, Rusev, and Roman Reigns, they were livid and started to boo and chant. <laughs> WWE fans, of course, not mm -hmm. happy with the elimination of the Dan Bryan and Dean Ambrose, Dolph Ziggler here tonight. Their last saving grace, however, was, was Rusev, Rusev, who was still outside of the ring but not yet eliminated, so fans quickly started to chant. since they wanted anyone but Reigns to win that night. But unfortunately, Roman would quickly eliminate him and win the match instead. Now, winning the Royal Rumble is a huge milestone for any WWE superstar, and it's a moment nope. they will go on to remember for the rest Not of their for lives. Not for Roman, bro. But in Roman Reigns' case, it's probably a moment he Not at this point. Get. His win was met with huge backlash from the WWE Universe, as it came at a time when the company was trying to force Roman Reigns to get over with the fans when they really just wanted Daniel Bryan. Nope. Not even a surprise appearance, from The Rock could save this moment from utter disaster, as you can tell by the look on his face. Yeah, it didn't it work. was a rough night to be a Daniel Bryan fan, but if you're a Dolph Ziggler fan, our final match on this list probably isn't your favorite. Oh, brother. In September of 2018, the WWE announced that they would hold a World Cup tournament where eight men would compete to determine who the best in the world was. Eventually, it all came down to Dolph Ziggler versus The Miz in the finals. But before the match officially started, The Miz got injured and wouldn't be medically cleared to compete in the match. Frustrated by all of this, the SmackDown Live commissioner Shane McMahon would volunteer to take The Miz's place before they officially announced Ziggler to This was just stupid. It's just, it's just stupid, bro. Be the winner by forfeit. He would surprisingly go on to beat Ziggler after hitting a coast to coast on him and won the WWE World Cup. Fans watching at home took to social media to voice their displeasure. Doesn't even matter because he's going to pin Dolph Ziggler, a full time superstar, three and Shane's the best in the world. Are you kidding me? This is a joke no oh my bro, shame and man was considered best in the world bro and he's not even an active like wrestler like that 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 just lets you know we've come very far y'all this is some awful 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 booking fuck this is a disgrace no disrespect to shame but what the yeah fuck? We got robbed. This was supposed to be Miz versus Dolph. In a tournament which included Seth Rollins, Randy Orton, yeah. and Jeff Hardy all competing, in the end, it was Shane McMahon who was deemed the best in the world. So are there any moments on this list that you think we missed? Drop a comment and let oh, us know a, what moment pissed you off most as a wrestling fan. There's, there's a few. There's definitely a few. This was a great one, actually. Hold on, y'all. So y'all can check out this channel. Uh, Raw is Danny, man. I'm going to go ahead and give this a like. I'm definitely going to subscribe to him, man. Uh, I'm going to link the original video down below. That way you can go check him out. Raw is Danny. This was a very good video. He had some of the most heartbreaking uh, moments in WWE. Uh, moments that uh, <laughs> WWE uh, definitely should have changed their decision on. But things happen for a reason. Vince McMahon was that reason. Comment down below, let me know some other moments, if it wasn't on this list, that just made you question what the hell was going on in WWE, what the hell Vince was thinking. Like, just a moment or a match where you just like, how does that make sense? What are we doing? At, what, what, what's going on here? <laughs> There's plenty, plenty of moments of just what it, how does that make sense? Triple H and Booker T, WrestleMania. I don't even have to say anything. That made no sense why Booker T didn't win that match, but who? Fuck it. <laughs> like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? So, comment down below. Let me know some other moments like that. Appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still young, speedy, huge wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.